Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between Core and Crystal. Here you can see um, K-Fog with Dark Elves. As is typical, he topped the ladder this season, qualifying for the World Championship. Crystal Hunter is attempting to qualify for the World Championship if he wins, well, if he gets the semi-finals of playoffs. And unfortunately, this is Crystal Hunter playing Dwarves, which, uh, you know, Crystal renowned for playing exciting Skaven stuff. This could have been a really good game versus Dark Elves, and that's what we all thought we were getting. <laughs> but instead, it's flipping Dwarves. Uh, AV up there, sidestep of uh, Big Kev. Got an edge up here. So you've got some 12 Elves. The elves are good with the resurrection nature of the playoffs now. But um, oh, this is a pretty nightmare matchup for him, isn't it? Loads of guard, mighty blow, stand firm for Crystal Hunter. This could be very, very, very painful for Kfog indeed. Oh. And even more unfortunate than that, there is a there is a Super League game on at the moment, which uh, had I known, had I known Junta was Dwarves, we might have been watching live instead. But I'll do the replay. Well, that should be a good one as well. Uh, Seabros, um, Undead versus Striders Wood Elves. So that'll be an interesting one to watch. But this is just... Uh, Little dwarf bangers seeing if they can bang. Obviously got some random skills here with like multiple block. <laughs> and uh, for the most part though they've been good randoms haven't they? What's this? On the ball. Double move. Block tackle. If this is a blitz, it's going to be very uncomfortable. It's not. It's a solid D. Could have two players on there, though. Interesting, a juggernaut on uh, K-Fog's team here. So the stand firm will not be as horrific for Kfog as you might have thought. Six stand firm. Seven guards. And only four mighty balls. Four's a nice amount though, isn't it? Because you get to hit everybody in the lowest with mighty blow and then you get a blitz one as well. So four might even be the optimal amount of mighty ball. This is dangerous, uh, <laughs> unless he, I, I guess he's going to put one here and one here, the side step. Yeah, that's okay, because he can't, can't fill in the squares now. No, it's a touchback. So Chunter will speed over to the other side. I know there's two in the wide. So what are you talking about, Christopher? I said one here and one here. Is because he put one there, so I thought I'll get you to put the other one here. But then he just moved that one, so it didn't really matter where the other one was. Sticky git is exposed. That could be a mistake, couldn't it? That could be a mistake. It could have been this pro guy exposed, but instead... Yeah. 
Yeah, that's gotta be, that's gotta be a mistake. Honestly, I might move this guy in here now, right? Just so you get this blitz. So that he didn't sidestep to there and stop you doing it if you uh, pushed him. Full pal. Maybe 10 plus gets his armor broken, of course. You can uh, full cage over here. And blitz this guy with mighty blow. H cage with a slayer. I don't hate. Yeah, mistake by Big Cat. I don't like uh, giving up this hit for no reason. Oh, multiple hits. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? Can't really chain push away, and because um, in case you don't know, the this is or oh, chain push himself away. Yeah, ugh, it's lame. Yeah, these are stand firms here. I would have just taken free hit. I wouldn't even chain all this over. I'd have punched him. I'd have punched him. Punch the guy. You might cast him. That scared of uh, not powering. I would have just powered. I would have simply chosen to roll a power there. I get that 45% of the time you get punched back. But 55% of the time you knock them over. Isn't that good? He's exposed this Fowler again. What is this strategy from Kfog to expose his best player to violence every turn? This is literally his best player, by the way. Defenseless best player. Exposed again. Whatever Kfog should have done, it wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't involve four dice on his uh, dirty player, sneaky gear, that's for sure. I guess it's not his best player for this matchup, is it? But even then, right? Even though he's still a defensive, he's still a defenseless player, and it's like if you think that Chunter's gonna like be a bit stupid and you know, misposition to get a hit on him, then save it for when you think that might happen, right? Don't just like give him, don't just give him him now. Wait until it would be crucial. And then be like, aha, do you want to blitz this guy? And then Trump will be like, yes, I do want to hit that guy. Classic wander around and uh, not really do anything. The classic way to defend with Dark Elves. Is this guy going to stay down because he hasn't got a 2 plus out? He's blocked his 2 plus out.
So maybe it was a plan to, um... Oh, Chunder's got a wizard! Flip me! Didn't even see that. Chunder's got a wizard. Oh, wow. How is Chunder the one with a wizard? <laughs> How is... <laughs> the dude with all of the guard, all the mighty blow, and all the stand firm, and all the tackle is the one with a wizard. Oh, dear. Disgusting dwarves. Absolute disgusting dwarves. Everybody hates dwarves. And we've been robbed of their natural predator, haven't we, with uh, the claw pom nerf. You know, there's just no... There's no counter anymore. Disgusting dwarves. Blitzing this guy is pretty good, isn't it? Because he's defenceless. And you can hit him with mighty blow into another mighty blow hit, and then you can can foul him. Well, except, except, K Fog's the guy with a sneaky get dirty player. Well, he's already moving in. Now this is hard, right? On offense, as the dwarves, because like he's trying to generate contact and get blocks, but um. You can just get beaten off quite easily is the problem, isn't it? I guess there's literally no guard on K Fog's team. So depending on how things go. Yeah, I would, I like I really quite like blitzing this guy. Because you're getting you get you would have got two mighty blow hits on him and you would have got to shuffle over at the right a bit, yeah. A bit of penetration. I'd have liked a little bit of penetration. Probably just going to rely. I mean, he's got movement eight, right? So he doesn't need too much. He does only have to be three squares deep. But still. Wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of penetration. There is the juggernaut as well for the blitzing stand firmers. It is static, but he does have the, um, like, he does have movement 8, right, so it's not, it's not as pressing as it could be, but, um, I mean, I agree with you, PC, I'd, I'd want to, uh, I'd want to see him moving. Two pluses is big Kev. Get a couple of bats now. Does a uh, chunts. And he gets a knockdown and an AV break. Look a dog. 
I guess he's thinking whether he blitzes the witch. He could just blitz the witch elf, witch elf here and block him. Or he could try blocking him and then ignoring him or blitzing somebody else. I guess he's going to think. Because it's not, it's not bad, is it, to blitz the witch and you're not leaving her in contact. I don't hear it. Yeah, block him first, leave your pal. few tackleless players on a dodgeless player. Oh, we could make this a 3D, couldn't we, on the witch? Yep. The full pow. I feel like he could have sorted the ball out before he made this blitz, honestly. If that had been quad skulls, he would have uh, got one dice sacked. It's a bit dicey, isn't it? I guess you've got to be that like that, right, to get more hits in and stuff. But um, Big Kev, isn't it? Oh, well, that stun's nice. Got a re-roll, has he? The fact he hasn't re-rolled anything yet on turn four makes me think that it was basically an auto re-roll. Still seeing in the way a little bit, but now Chunter is getting kind of far enough, isn't he? I don't think he's going to have to push too far forward. Just about going to get there. Just try to bang as hard as he can now. Yeah, first move towards are a bit cheaty, yep. Yeah. Yep, I know I've got a I've got a movement eight dwarf on fumble and it's ludicrous. And yes, this this guy is a great decoy octopus, he's punched again. <laughs> no heavy break again. Shouldn't really spread a little bit wide here. players on the ground, the witch elf would jump up. A little bit concerning for chunts. A 
And he's just basing everything with stand firm, which is completely reasonable. Interesting way to start the turn from <laughs> KFOG here into a straight frenzy trap. Best player in the world. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Looks a lot worse now, doesn't it, Maud Ready, after he's just fucking wasted both rerolls, punching things miles away from the ball. That frenzy trap, like, it was just bad dice this second one, but that frenzy trap was a, a wild way to start the turn. Do not like that. Done every time, isn't he? He can do the four plus. Oh, he can't now. He could have done the four plus jump over, right, to get out instead of a four two. He could just do a straight four. Maybe he'll leave the witch elf down because of jump up. <laughs> Dimmy is far better than Kfog. Uh, and Artemis Black, they've both got zero points in Super League. Um, Dimmy is top. So, there you go. Can't argue with stats of very small sample sizes. <laughs> Dimmy's the champ. Honestly, we probably only need to do uh, playoffs this season, just give the title to Dimmy. Probably better. <laughs> yeah, super league stats. <laughs> it's the way. Well, I mean, we all know that the only real measure is uh, the Burt factor from the ball too. But apart from that, <laughs> apart from that, super league. <laughs> maybe Dimmy really was the most dice man in Blood Bowl he said it that much maybe it's true and, and maybe now dominating Super League is where we should have always been who can say if it's right or wrong yeah he's certainly doing the best this season and I did, like, the worst play ever seen. <laughs> I still can't believe that. <laughs> Art and Jim. I, Art, Art, Art diced me when we played, actually. Funnily enough. We played on a... You know, the undead season, we spun into each other and he just, like, killed all my players. <laughs> Standard. 
Well, this witch elf is interesting, but it's uh, it's too hard now that he's got no rerolls left, isn't it? You can't expect anything from him here. Like he might he might still get lucky, but it's looking real bad for him right now. But he's got the Juggernaut Blitzer. Like the Juggernaut Witch Elf can like blitz a Stan Firmer to get the Witch Elf somewhere, right? Like that's what he's gotta be looking for, but it doesn't look like he can do that. But if he could have done that, that would have been pretty good. Another push. Maybe I should be more aggressive, honestly. I kind of normally have shied away from this kind of play with dwarves, you know. But maybe just pile in is better than I thought. Devo tends to pile in with chaos. What I tend to do is, if I pile in, all of my guys get killed. But it um, doesn't seem to happen to other people. <laughs> Most dice man in Blood Bowl. Oh, Witch Elf uh, rolled a 1. And the jump up. Two way K fog. He's getting some good two pluses here, isn't he, without a uh, dodge? Well rolled, well rolled, K Fog. So, yeah, big lack of penetration, really, for Chunter. But, like, he's in range to score next turn, isn't he? Because his dwarf is so fast. Which is kind of crazy. He could probably want to centralise a little bit, but it's difficult with the, with the Witch Elf and stuff. Could just roll all the way over the side, right? Could run all the way over to here and then stand where he is. He's got some stuff here to push up there. Yeah, well, I feel like <laughs> PC and myself would have been here on like turn three, but Chunt is still here on turn seven. I don't hate the switch over here though, this this is a decent switch. I feel like if I was big Kev I wouldn't have wanted like you know quite so strong in the centre. But uh Maybe that is how strong you have to be in the centre. Well, this guy certainly doesn't seem to be doing a lot, does he? Like, if this guy gets powered and this guy gets powered, he just walks through and he's not even doing anything, so maybe he had to be like there if he wanted to do anything. Or there. Or over here and holding this a bit. Yeah, the guaranteed movement A is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, 20k, yeah. Yeah, guaranteed movement for 20k is just... Just fucking bonkers, isn't it? 
Like AV for 10 is crazy as well. But it doesn't affect the game quite as much as <laughs> double movement on your carrier. Guaranteed double movement on your carrier is just fucking wild. He doesn't have to GFI here, does he, Chunter? He can just put this guy in there. That's good enough. In fact, if you're going to do that, maybe you didn't need this guy in there either. And then you could have had like a Y cage. Might have been better. Maybe he still GFIs. Maybe it's so hard to get around the hit. Maybe he just GFIs a bit. You almost cover it more because if he doesn't get cast, he can then only uphill you just the same, right? So yeah, I guess you do GFI. Because if you fall over in the square, he can still just uphill you. He's not even trying to pull it. Well, this is a one D, isn't it? He hasn't got tackle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. And basically instant. Weird to not care about the Witch Elf at all. Okay, Fug's probably wishing he'd saved his rerolls. And there's the skull. I was kind of crazy to leave that on, unfortunately, honestly. Like. Now he gets a million hits. A million mighty blow hits. Yeah. Me too. can just put this there, this there, and then you can punch this so it's safe. In fact, back safe anyway, isn't it? Back isn't getting in the way, so you can just go there and then safely block the witch. He's just not hitting the witch. I can't, can't agree with that. I really liked hitting the witch with Mighty Blow, but never mind. A well, pretty, pretty good half for Kfog, really. Like, apart from conceding a touchdown, he hasn't taken any damage whatsoever. <laughs> Not that good, <laughs> but to say that he lost his rerolls uh, pretty early, the fact that his team didn't explode is pretty decent. And uh, the problem that he's got in the second half is the Daka is a lot worse with a wizard. So. He hasn't got his rerolls for the one turn. Which he could have not really got, right? To be fair, like with all the stand firm, 
even though he's got Juggernaut. That only gets him two pushes. And he's only moving seven, so. <laughs> Good night, man, kids. <laughs> Flippin' dwarves. Careful okay, can't get two dice on the runner. But he could one dice into two dice with a witch elf. Which he might want to do. <laughs> Cause if he and then he could foul it with a sneaky get dirty player. And he could punch it like across and then out there, right? So he could get a three assist foul. It's worth thinking about. Probably won't think about it, but I think it's worth thinking about. Because killing the runner would be like so unbelievably, insanely fantastic. But I might do a one into a two to try and do it. Problem is, no rerolls, isn't it? Maybe if you had a reroll, that's what you'd do. But without a reroll, I guess it's a bit too risky. That's a great bit of foul, isn't it? Guard stand for mighty. He doesn't use stand firm twice to deny K Fog an assist. <laughs> Didn't block the assist, but that, that's why I didn't use stamp firm both times. <laughs> right, here we are, big foul. DP. Nothing. You'll do nothing. This could be a win for Chunder. The thing is, it doesn't matter to K Fog either, right? K Fog's qualified by winning ladder. It matters for Chunter. If he can make it the semis.
Now, if you're interested in Sea Brawls vs. Strider, Art is streaming that live now. You can't tell from his title, which is Subathon. <laughs> 1574. <laughs> but, um, there you go. Just move my foot next to my PC and it's like very warm. <laughs> I was just like, oh, that's good, I've got a fire on, but no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not a heater, it's just my PC being very hot. Maybe not the best thing in the world. Is this a Dakar or what is it? The Dakar is dangerous versus the Wizard, isn't it? A quick score means you'll just lose 2 1. So. Oh no, he's got tackle on the run. I was going to say, allowing the dodge off without tackle, but the runner has got tackle, so that was not true. This is rough, isn't it? Because it's like, yeah, he's going to get the juggernaut there to maybe get a surf next turn. One. We proed it. Four. And a two assist foul. Gets the removal. Apo instant. Argue the call. Fails on a one. What a disaster for Big Cav. Jesus. Jesus. Wow, 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 wow. Not the best, not the best turn ever for Big Cat. I like the apple on the KO. Because, you know, he turned to nose, he can win this 1 0, right? Or 2 0 even. Keeping that guy on is good. It's going to all man's him, isn't he? I think he's already got two in contact. So just get everyone in contact. Classic chunter. And the problem that you've got is it's like, you know, he's asking questions. And it's not easy solves, is it? Yeah, I like the blitz with him rather than just relying on him. Tackle this hit from the blitz there.
a little bit problematic, isn't it? Okay, Fog is realising <laughs> this is a little bit problematic. Oh, wow, he goes in there. Wouldn't have done that. He's turned the corner now, then, eh? Yeah. Yep. Zero hesitation. Think about another G a GFI? Another GFI, yeah. No. So two plus dodge, Uguay, he's got plus edge. So he's edge one plus. So, I mean, he is going to score quickly, but, like, Chunt will be happy with that, won't he? Setting up for a 2-1 grind. With wizard support. Oh, my God, he prod again. He's prod two two-plus dodgers with that guy. Outrageous. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Yeah, I just punch everything here, it's chunter. Punch, 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 get stuff back. Do the absolute bare minimum that you have to do to force him to score. Which Probably can't do this turn, but maybe next. Mm, I think that guy I would have put in in here, so I would have got that block as well. Run a blitz. Gets a full pow. I don't know why this wasn't the mighty blow guy. Maybe all will be revealed soon. Is he going to GFI with this guy at the end? Get him in there. Hmm. 
No. Well, in that case, you should move that guy ages ago. Honestly, it lets him get a 2 plus out. Isn't it way better to go behind him? Like, yeah, okay, it, stop, it makes you one square further away from relevancy. But, like, it stops him getting out very effectively instead of doing nothing. Kvok's definitely going to get another turn of stall out of this. No, he's not. Ah. 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 Well, I think he definitely could have done. <laughs> so now, six turns for Chunta to win 2-1. Wouldn't bet against it. K Fog's got two. Three rolls and an apple and a kitchen sink to throw at this. Kevil pretty much has to maximise steal a chance to be fair, because Chunt's got the wizard as well, right, in case anything goes wrong, so. I would still try to stall from the square. The problem is if you stall from another turn, then like chances are you use another reroll as well, right? So maybe it maybe it, I would have liked another turn to stall, but I guess maybe it doesn't make so much difference versus a movement eight carrier anyway. And it'd be the worst using a reroll. It would just be the absolute worst. So I guess you can't afford you can't afford to have to use a reroll on it. It does feel like a pretty rough matchup, yeah. I mean, elves just get shit on by dwarves eventually. Like NAF style. The dwarves don't have the kill power, do they? And to be fair, they haven't had it this game either. But they still have, like, the knockdown power. But, like, it's a big difference between having, like, you know, NAF style where the dwarves have got, like, four guard or whatever. And then. Like this, when you've got loads of guard, loads of stun and loads of mighty blow, and a movement eight carrier, and it's already not a great matchup for the elves in mass style. It definitely gets bad for the dark elves with this kind of TV. Indeed, Mordredi, indeed. Probably not for a while. Dolce and... Um, we've got Corn. Amazons, Norse. Then Vamps. So maybe another year. At the earliest. Honestly, after playing after playing two games with vampires, I'm not I'm not desperate to play them again. <laughs> Apple this have to because uh, the cup is res. And you might straight up lose in this period of time, right? Maybe these six turns you can just lose the game. So you just have to apple that to keep them on the pitch, give yourself the best chance of like even getting to overtime, even if you can't win in overtime. Still have to get to overtime.
High Couch Hunt has used 4 minutes 20 and Kfog has only used 2 seconds of his time bank. Very fast player. It's one of the best things about, ch about Kfog is how fast he is. Surprised he hasn't like tried to use his Juggernaut to like, you know, strand people and then attempt to surf them over a few turns. I would have thought he might have tried to have done that. Juggernaut. And again. So he'd stand in the way a little bit. But it's not right, is it? Could be a gaping hole open up here. Problem is he can't really flood into it, but he could still open it. This still needs a bigger commitment from Chunta. This is still resulting in a guy getting surfed, yeah. Oof. He's only got one reroll. This still might be resulting in a guy getting served. Super interesting. Torek. Um, I didn't like I didn't like how the vampires played. Um, no, they're just like a race against time and the dice, which. I wasn't a fan of. Doesn't get the power. Tries to get the pro. Fails. Now the other guy can punch him as well. Gets him down. So now. He can go for the surf, can't he? One into two. It's the pal. Diced. Never lucky. Oh. Can't, can't 
Chunter might leave him some kind of ball action. So he's got to got to keep him. I can't think about fireballing here. If he's thinking of fireballing these four, he is mental. <laughs> Genuinely, if he's even considering fireballing those four or these four, he is mental. Maybe he just pause to let Chun to, to let K Fog know that he's got a wizard. But he's zapping. <laughs> he tried to zap the witch elf. <laughs> the juggernaut witch elf to kind of save Save him, save his guy getting surfed next turn. That seems mental. Just push down the middle. Yeah. Just come back to the middle, sledgehammer through the middle. You've only got to get three squares deep. Then fireball him on the last turn and run through. <laughs> Great use of 150. That was weird. That is. Yeah, he did avoid the mental fireball play, yeah, and went for possibly an even worse one. <laughs> that was really weird. I don't I don't understand. Oh my god, now he's dub scold and his last reroll gone. Flip me. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Hello, the Aunt Miss Black. Thanks for the raid. Hello, Dimmy. Um, who's got a fireball? Um, Chunter had a fireball, but um, he didn't use it. He instead uh, tried to turn the witch elf into a frog. Oh, he's got a troll slayer, hasn't he? I guess the troll slayer was gonna surf him and then get counter surf. That seems not good. And sea bros, glorious. Thank you very much. No spoilers, please. Art or sea bros? Um, I did watch a little bit of it. Um, seems an interesting game. Super interesting. Let's do the replay of that. I'm so tired at the moment that I felt, <laughs> you know, I could only do one and uh, went with this one. I'll do, uh, super interesting. Yep. Yes, Karamai. Yep. It's not looking good for Chunter right now. Not looking bad for it, too bad for him, really, right? The two stuns are big. He only has to get three squares in the opposing half. Like, he only has to get two more squares in. But, you know, he's not going to want to GFI now without rerolls, is he? <laughs> yeah, I've. I'm, I'm in a similar kind of uh, situation, aren't I? Yeah, I'm very tired. Very, very tired. <laughs> probably, uh, probably. I can't do any more games. Here are the two live ones. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to do some replays. Catch up on the replays, go a bunch of replays, go. Three cup games, I think. Three NAF cup games. And Super League. And a Super League live game, I think. Um, might be a while. <laughs> might be a while, that is the problem. Because it could be overtime. If, if you could wait till the resolution of normal time, please, uh, that would be great. 
Dwarf's OP, yeah, they're, they're looking they're looking pretty strong, but they are out of re-rolls. Okay, folks, got two. Okay, folks, still has 11 players on the pitch. I'm not even sure I've seen the director's cut of Alien. Yeah, I don't think I've seen... There's probably a few movies like that where I haven't seen the director's cut. Even though I saw the movie years ago. It was for a stun, Jay Bowser. It was uh, sent off on turn nine. Yep. <laughs> Jay Bowser. <laughs> oh, classic. This is nice, isn't it? Take the push and then pound so you've got an assist over there would have been... Would have been very nice, but he's not that greedy. Well done, well done, Chunto, resisting the greed. See, <laughs> five versions of Blade Runner, yeah. Yeah, Blade Runner's got loads, hasn't it? I watched, like, the, you know super mega ultra definitive version and didn't notice anything <laughs> anything different from the first time i'd watched it but again i hadn't watched it for years and years so who knows nice that this is a blood stepper isn't it for big kev Makes it a little bit tricky. Gets the full pow. Shouldn't have five minutes of time bank. Okay, folks, still at two seconds. the actual movie. This side, yeah. Yeah, he'd probably go for that. I thought you meant like over here, right, with the jugs, but it's, it's like, he's not just gonna. It's not gonna go there. Surfing this guy seems reasonable. Oh shit. He's got his canoring threat. Let's go. the witch off to get this guy over first no nope. oh shit he's just going for the ball wow wow all right taking taking advantage of there being zero guard in front and he just and and zero tackle right so he just went for the five plus re-rollable then 
really wild. Really wild that he uh, didn't... Even more wild that he didn't get this guy out in case of a failure. He adds one guy, adds one pluses here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could roll a million dice and lob it to him, but I can't lob it, can he, anymore? Didn't get him down. So I'll probably just pick it up in the end, go there for next turn. Yeah. It's a shame that he, he could have, like, he could have just gone to here and passed it, except can't pass anymore. So yeah, this was this was correct, wasn't it? Just pick it up and stand there. This guy's probably just got to like dodge, right? Oh, he can't re-roll it. Maybe, maybe this could be a two-one. This could be a two-one art. This could be a two-one. This could be a normal win for Big Kev. It could even be a two-one. For Chumna. There's still dice to be rolled. Oh wow. Okay, I did not expect that. I thought he was gonna block this guy and then chain him and then hit the ball with his assist. So now I don't know what he's doing. I mean, this was a wanna, a wanna into a one, two, three, four, to a two plus to two D the ball, and also it kind of like gets him advanced quite nicely as well. Yeah, it was wild, wasn't it? The uphill was really wild. The uphill, the dodging. Gotta tell you, I don't see the play, guys. I don't see what Chunter wants. Oh, maybe it's the 1D and then he just punches the witch. That that still works, doesn't it? Well, no, except because you've got this defensive assist. So that doesn't work. Oh, he's blocked with this one. What the fuck is Chunter doing? He's going to go for, like, runner jump. Runner jump, I guess. That seems not good. <laughs> he gets it. No near push. Oh no, the sound. Right, so ch he can hand it off to this guy.
which is barely even good but I mean it does it does save him some squares and then like what you could blitz this one and then one two three four five six seven four plus pass it to him I don't really like this very much <laughs> I feel like the player was what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. I don't know. Oh, well, you've got two plus so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like that. I don't know. Blitzing this guy isn't easy either. I guess the witch. I mean, there's lots of two plus to be made, isn't there? Problem is with a blitz now, you can't clear these guys. Like three three twoing with this guy seems terrible, right? He's already moved him. No, this is it's shit passing with a it's shit passing with a with it with this L. This is like a five plus pass. Yeah, the passes. I mean, the pass is definitely worse. My way was a four plus pass. His way is like a five or a six plus pass. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. And you've got to re-roll this, big Kev. Maybe it's only a five plus pass. Oh. Double wand. Double wand. What was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would have been a five plus pass. I don't know. It was a lot of twos to make that. It was a lot of twos to make that a four plus. It probably wasn't worth it. It's just so hard, isn't it, with so much tackle around. This guy's in range, by the way. So... Chunt it with no re-rolls. One, two, three, four, five. Love it. Champion region fuming. He's just doing it with a with a troll slayer. Uh, <laughs> he can't pass it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so he sanded it off, just rolling all the dice. I mean, I don't know what was wrong with these agility 3 plus players. GFI, 5 plus pass, 3 plus catch. No, no, he, like, he went for that. He went for the handoff, but I mean, surely it's wrong. <laughs> Surely it's wrong to hand off to this guy when he could have just freed this one up first and just do it all on threes. <laughs> threes for pussies, yeah. I guess he hasn't got much time now, right? He's on 22 seconds of time bank. Maybe a bit panicked from Chunter. Who's going to win the toss? Big Kev. Still nobody removed for him. And he's going to receive, but no re-rolls is going to make this super dicey for both uh, 
both competitors. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Happy sub-anniversary to us. Four. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sada. What a legend. 20, over 20. Whoo, beaver pregnancies. Glorious. Thanks for staying fantastic. It's not first to score no more ready. It is a full eight turns each. It's over 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 twenty. That is the exact amount, Jack Bull. That is doing the maths. Twenty is eighty. You can't have a quarter of a pregnancy, can you? I mean, <laughs> so it's 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 <laughs> it's twenty. Is it that bad? The problem with guard on the Dark Elves is it costing you 40 TV, right? And people having defensive as well. So even if you have it, they might just have defensive. I'd rather just have strength than guard. It's only 40 more. Like, I'd rather just have a strength 4 dude to do the blitzing. Like, a strength 4 witch elf, right? Just fucking good to every turn. <laughs> Very good, Magicka. Very good. Alright, good night, anyway. Is this a touchback or a high kick catch? Whatever it was. Starting the ball in hand. Very good. The problem that, that K Fog has here is something's going to fail at some point. And how fucked is he going to be when it does? <laughs> because he's got no rerolls. This is the thing, like, even if Chunter rolls like a dub skull there, right? Like, obviously, you should have made all the safe moves first. Like, no excuse, again, for just not doing all of your safe moves first, right? You've got no re rolls. You can definitely dub skull. Make all of the other moves first. The basics that even the best players still don't do every single game, right? Like, it's mad. It's kind of mad, honestly, how bad we are. <laughs> but there you go. Um,. You know, all these moves should just be made first, and then if he dub skulls, at least everything else is where he wants it to be. Um, so yeah, especially with no rerolls, right? Like at least with a reroll, there's only a one in twelve nine six chance if you weren't to use it. But like, you know, now you don't have that. Now you've got to think a little bit more. Make the safe moves first now more than ever though you should do it all the time anyway but now you really should be doing it but yeah this is getting really this is really tricky for big cap because if chunter has an early turnover well yes kfog can get behind him and maybe stall for a couple of turns but he just hasn't lost the drive completely whereas if if kfog like you know fails at 2 plus then it can just lead to absolute disaster whole team gets wrecked and he loses the ball and probably the game so it's uh, it's a lot scarier for Kfog even though he's got the ball right now even though he's got the ball right now it's 
pretty scary. Pretty, pretty scary. And not only has he got to not lose, oh my god, he does the dodge for the surf and doesn't get it. He's been a little bit rowdy, hasn't he, Big Kev, this game? Given the gravity of the situation, I guess, he's, uh, he's decided he had to go for some dodgy things. Doesn't have to stall that much. I mean, the problem is, if he doesn't stall that much, then Chunter's still got a movement nine, dude. So if Chunter doesn't have anything, uh... <laughs> very good, George. I mean, I've seen it before. It's not. It's not going to blow my mind. It's just cool to see things. It's a bit stuttery. Mind me. I don't know why. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Witch elf. <laughs> Witch elf survives. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't! Gets juggernauted! Oh no, it gets juggernauted down, but does survive. So. <laughs> But it's very, very much uphills for the surf. Uphills in all one D. Like as long as the ball safe, he might go for it. Do you know what? Do you know what I'd do if I was K Fog here? I'd. Just one plus guy dodges through to here. <laughs> to, to here. <laughs> Witch elf dodges there. Pushes him twice. <laughs> to there, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, the, the edge one plus guy dodges to there. And then the witch elf dodges to there. Pushes him to there, there. And then this guy blocks him and surfs the runner. That would be great, wouldn't it? Just joking, of course, but funny. A funny thing to think about. Just gonna swap sides. And he can go for this uphill at the end anyway, right? Like, it's still not even bad to go for this uphill, as long as he's not gonna completely ruin him if it fails. Nope, oh, there's a the dub skull. Oh my god, Pro! This Pro has been so good! <laughs> <laughs> the pro, the pro has been basically the best player on his entire team. Wow! And then he rolled a one on that dodge away. Flip me. I I really like Galaxy Quest. Yeah, yeah. Strangely, because Sigourney Weaver, I never really found very attractive, but um. Strangely, the one where she's blonde and has massive boobs, <laughs> she's great in Galaxy Quest. <laughs> oh my goodness, finally a Kaz. <laughs> the runner is faster than the elves, yeah, he's the fastest player on the pitch. Um, well, so, if it's a draw, it's just a straight roll off to see who wins. Um, yeah, just a straight roll off if it's a draw. But I mean, if K Fog scores, then, you know, chances are he wins. But, um, it's looking pretty bad because. 
You know, everything's based up by tackle and he's got no rerolls. Oh. Here we go. Wandy on the ball. Is he going to dump off? <laughs> it looks like he is going to dump off. using his time bank maybe he's just confused by the ui and he's like thinking i don't want to dump off <laughs> what's going on oh my god on the ball he dumped off and he's got on the ball holy shit he can just go anywhere as well with the on the ball by the way he can just go anywhere so he, do he doesn't have to like base the ball or anything And he gets the knockdown. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's 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 mad how it's like it's just it's just banned for the elves. It, like now they finally take an attrition. And like, just every dice roll can be the end. And the dwarves don't really feel that same pressure, do they? <laughs> yes, Torek, yes! <laughs> This uh, this pro guy is actually his best player. That's so funny because it just is, isn't it? He's got he's got a three plus to reroll things instead of no chance to reroll dodges. So yeah, we've got the witch elf. I would have probably wanted to put the witch elf in scoring range, like proper scoring range, right? Like she's GFI's away now, but I'd rather just have her two squares further up so she's in proper scoring range. TBH. I didn't know all that for Fabrito. That's a shame. I mean, it was a shame that he died anyway, but... Galaxy Quest. I really enjoyed Galaxy Quest. Just in general, to be fair. Not, not just because of the boobs. <laughs> Despite it being Tim Allen. I don't know. There was times when Tim Allen was acceptable. Oh, that's he's not going to do that. <laughs> never give up, never surrender. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's it's one of those ones where now I don't really want to like him anymore <laughs> a bit like Shawn Michaels I've never really enjoyed <laughs> the only time Tim Allen was acceptable it's got of sequence <laughs> yeah oh my goodness he would have he would have dub skull but he had 3d This has been a pretty disastrous turn for Chunter, right? It's not really disastrous, but the fact that, like, nothing's happened. He's got a 1D blitz.
hitting with a tackle and makes sense. Gets another removal. It took Chunter 20 turns, but he finally started removing elves. <laughs> Three players down this drive after losing nothing for the whole game. I mean, it's that's kind of crazy that he just didn't lose anything. Gets the big pow. He could... He could... Blitz with a witch elf and surf his own player and then surf the blitzer. <laughs> I mean, I know you could just come around and surf him like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G of five. But it, the problem is that doesn't even do that much because he'd sort of jump over the dead body, wouldn't he? So try and switch over to this side. It's just horrible, isn't it? It's horrible. Rolled a one. Rolled a one. And then now it pretty much is over. Because he can serve him, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can put him in there. One, two, three, four, and then GFI with him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, double, you know, you can't really surf him, unfortunately. I mean, I guess he doesn't need to surf him, right? Just hit him with a tackle, and hope for the best. Diced. Can surf that guy. Smash this. Again, safe moves first, Chunter. Safe moves first. <laughs> Put this guy up there or whatever, whatever you can do. It was a lot of rolls to surf him, to be fair. It's like three GFIs. And then you'd have to surf him with your recovery as well, so it's not even good. So it's probably, it was, it was, I'm sure it was correct not to attempt to surf him. Why ball down instead of a push? I wasn't I wasn't watching, I've got no idea. It didn't He rolled a push. I mean misclick. Misclick, that's surely the only... Misclick is surely the only explanation, right? It's definitely better to have this guy surfed than down in that square. That doesn't make any sense. It's funny how KFOG took nothing for ages and then now, all of a sudden, there he's rolling ones. <laughs> And all of his players are gone. Shouldn't it need to make this a 3D? And move this guy. Good. <laughs> he definitely misclicked. It's the, it's the only explanation is a misclick. This guy could come over there to give the uh, give the Slayer a punch. I don't hate it. I might put the ball back to here. 
This guy probably could have gone there. Yeah, he's just running, just running down. I guess it is turn 22. <laughs> to be fair, it is turn 22. I'm, I confess, I may not have been looking at the turn marker. sidestep so this could still go to kicks this could still go to kicks oh my god chunter you dice lord like, literally, this could have just been one square back as well. Like, he's even better one square back. <laughs> what a dirtbag Chunter is. Oh, well, there we go. There's an instant blood step on the ball. This is a, it's a three, isn't it? It's not good. So you have to just two two him. Two two him to hit yeah. the ball. Nope. Well, this guy, one two. He could have cut the corner here. Oh wow, so he did the three with the witch. Wild. Because the three was through tackle. He's got the ball. <laughs> like, it was literally better back here, right? It would have still been a three to there. And then a two. But then he would have had to, like, get through there as well. It was li it was literally better to have... Um, shouldn't have put it in the wrong square. And it gave himself a 1D instead of a 2D. So it was, it was better defensively. And it stopped him getting a 2D. Well, that was a that was a turn and a half from Kerfog, wasn't it? Now, uh now, funny enough, keeping the ball back here at Cage looks a bit better for Chunter, but I mean, he would have probably got it there anyway with a dicey roll. Yeah, Big Kev ain't scoring. But he might have a 50-50 chance to win. Despite all of this happening in overtime. Chun is just rolling all of the dice, it's crazy. <laughs> Go on the sideline for maybe a bad throw in. Oh, shadowing him! Oh, dice. And it is a bad throw in, is it? It is! Oh my god! <laughs> oh god. Right. Three, two, and then pick it up. In fact, punt it yourself, right? Three, two, punt it. Let's go.
I mean, this is the boring, correct play first. No, I can go backwards. Yeah, shit. All right, just hold it then. Yeah, I forgot about wildly inaccurate. Oh, I might have lost then if that was me. <laughs> There's a GFI there. Oh my god, he gets it. Yep, yeah, that's pretty much done. Looks like we're going to kicks. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Finally, Trump that fails the dice roll in overtime. Right, who wins? Oh, um, Chunt has won the first two. Kev's won one. Kev's won two. Oh my god, it's the final set of kicks. Big Kev has won. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is done by Logo, in case you're confused. At, um, this saying Dark Side Wanderers and this saying Dark Side Wanderers, it's the correct one is the logo, and that means that K Fog is the best. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good UI apart from it's wrong. <laughs> BB Exchange program should be there. Also, for Chunter's screen, it still comes up like this, right? Chunter sees this screen as well. So it looks like he's won because he says he sees BB Exchange program, and he sees that BB Exchange program have won three two. So he thinks he's won, and they've got the logos round the wrong way. <laughs> because obviously you're going to be on the left hand side, right? Because you're playing it. So it's pretty messed up at the moment, but um, it is it is Kfog. And yeah, it's really good that there's not invisible kicks here. It is, it is good that it's not invisible kicks. So much, much better seeing that. Hate that it dumps you out of the main menu instead of instead of to here. And then you've got to find the chalice. <laughs> find the competition. <laughs> Click on the replays. And then go to the match that tells you, yes, 2-1 to K-Fog. Um, yes, Chunter, yeah, normal. No more misery. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a fun game, wasn't it? I, I thought it could go to overtime. And uh, yeah, wild, wild game. Lots of crazy things. The five plus ball sack was wild. I fully expected him just surfing the blitzer. So going for the five plus in. No guard on the cage and no tackle on the way in. Fair play, fair play. Big Kev. To rolling the big boy dice at the ends. There you go. Congratulations, KFOG. Commiserations, Crystal Hunter. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.